recently I coached one of our, our clients to start incorporating video um, into her messages with, with uh, patients. And, and the reason I chose to incorporate video with her, she has a large practice and we didn't want to wait. You know, I, if, if uh, you know, timing was immaterial, we would go through an entire recare cycle with, with a particular plan. Let's, let's say we're resigning from MetLife. We'd go through a re entire recare cycle, which would uh, typically be six months plus. Near right. It's not fair to say that a recall cycle is purely six months because people will fall off that schedule and you know six will become seven, will become eight. But um, if, if we would go six, seven, eight months, uh, that would give us a chance to talk to as many of our MetLife patients as possible and let them know what's happening so we'd get the, the best effectiveness of our communication. Well, um, my client and I were impatient. We didn't want to wait six, seven, or eight months. So we said, we, we'll go through a three-month cycle of communicating with this with patients in this particular plan. Um, and that would allow us to get to many of them, but not all of them. And as I started to think about what else, of course, we're going to send a letter. A letter is part of that process as well. We're going to send a letter. But remember, letter is what, Naren, in terms of communication? How much value am I getting? 7%. I'm getting 7% on the letter. Well, and it's probably less than that because not everybody opened it. That's true, especially emails or even like, uh, you know, because we get so much junk, right? So we don't even look yeah. at it. Uh, Naren, when was the last time you went to the physical mailbox? <laughs> I what? can't remember, like never. The what? <laughs> never, never. And I do recommend, by the way, that when we send the letter to our patients, we send it by email and yes. we send it by snail mail. Yes. Uh, because we want to get to as many patients as possible. But I would guess that we're wasting a lot of postage <laughs> on the snail mail uh, because, you know, who pays attention to that anymore? But anyway, as we were crafting this with this particular client, um, I said, you know what I'd like to do? Uh, with your permission, doctor, I would like you to do a video uh, for your uh, patients. And um, she lit up to this. She said, Gary, that's a great idea. Um, coach me on, on, you know, how long that should be and what I should put in that video. Um, by the way, this is um, a doctor who is um, using a video um, in her practice. She, she, her website is populated with many videos. So she's become comfortable, you know, standing in front of a smartphone, right. um, re re recording videos. Um, and so she's become comfortable with that. She's um, articulate. Um, and, you know, I, I thought with, with her on the video communicating to her patients, this would just be another channel that will allow us to keep more patients. And we're in the middle of all of it right now. I don't have the final data, but I've got a very strong feeling uh, that we may set a new record in this practice in terms of the percentage of existing patients that we're keeping in the practice after we resign. This may be the new high watermark uh, because we're really pulling out all the stops. Um, and based on that success, I've been introducing that to other clients too, uh, in the middle of, uh, you know, their uh, journey to successfully resign from PPO plans. And I am just thoroughly convinced it's another medium. And this would be, uh, again, if I can talk a little bit about the details, Naren, this is nothing that is produced professionally. This is quite literally um, either done on your computer, like you do through Zoom, um, or it could be done uh, with your uh, smartphone and just recording a video. And I would suggest, Naren, that that video be no longer than three minutes, no longer than three minutes. We can certainly go much longer than that with details. But video um, tends, in this format, um, shorter is better. Um, and I would suggest that it be somewhere between two and three minutes long. Something like that. Darren, you know a bit about video with your experience yes. with marketing. Am I, how do you feel about that time length, the suggested time length of two to three minutes? I think it's excellent. Anything more than three, I think it's just not going to work because they won't finish, you know, wait till the end. You're going to lose them. You're going to lose them. And of course, the shorter, the better. So if you can say yeah. it even in less, then go for it. But I wouldn't go more than three minutes.